Hi plant friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to create your nutrient water so that you can keep those plants and LECA alive. It's mostly known for use during a plant's growth and bloom cycle. Here I'm just showing you how full it still is. I've had this since May and I've barely made a dent in any of them, so that's really good to know. And know it's a little bit of an upfront investment, but it definitely lasts for a long time. Plants benefit from an appropriate diet just like humans do. So the second one that I use is Flora Grow, which is supposed to be good for building strong roots during a plant's vegetative stage. And lastly, we have Flora Bloom, which is used for fruiting and flowering plants. So the cool thing about the three of these is you can adjust the levels that you use based on what you're trying to make your plants do. Then I would recommend you have a gallon sized bucket. I got this one from the Dollar Tree. Now you don't have to have this, but I highly recommend getting Super Thrive because it's amazing for helping plants that are stressed or transitioning, and they will be a little stressed when transitioning to a new medium. Now, pH measuring, I really recommend it. You can do it two different ways. This is an electric meter. I actually don't prefer this way. I actually prefer the general hydroponics pH system. You get pH up, pH down, and a pH dye indicator, and then a shot glass. Once you have all your materials assembled, you're going to want to just fill up a clean receptacle, clean gallon size receptacle with filtered room temperature water, which is what I'm doing here. You definitely want to make sure it's room temperature so you don't shock the plants. I start with Flora Micro. This is the foundation of the system and the back will give you all the details of what's inside of it and it'll also break down the levels of how much to add. So you're always going to be creating a dilution. A little bit goes a super long way with the General Hydroponics 3 Series. And when you're starting out, all three of them are the same. It's a quarter of a teaspoon to a gallon dilution. So. When we do hydroponics on other videos on this channel, we'll go more into adjusting the levels based on what you want your plants to do. But for now, we're just gonna go with a quarter teaspoon per gallon dilution, which is what I will start any plant out when I'm transferring it from any other medium to LECA. Here I'm just showing you the little breakdown in the back. So it'll tell you for cutting seedlings, for aggressive vegetative growth, if you want flowering, if you want blooming, ripening, it'll tell you how to adjust it. And we will definitely go into more of that. So here I'm just using a clean quarter of a teaspoon and I kind of designate this for creating my nutrient water. You have to add these all separately and I know that may seem tedious but it's good to avoid nutrient lockout which would be basically where the plants are too oversaturated with nutrients, the water gets too oversaturated with nutrients at one time um, and then the, it messes with the pH levels of the nutrient solution. So we just add a quarter of a teaspoon of this first one, Flora Micro, and then I'm going to shut the lid and give it a good shake. I usually shake it about 10 times, that's just kind of my little rule of thumb to make sure it's all dispersed evenly. And then we're going to open up the next one, which is Flora Bloom. It doesn't really matter what order you do these two in, as long as you do Flora Micro first. That's kind of my rule of thumb, just because that's the foundation of the nutrient water. So again, I'm just going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of Flora Bloom, give it a good stir, and then I'll shut everything and give it a mix and then add Flora Grow. Now, again, this next part isn't entirely necessary, but I really would recommend adding Super Thrive to your solution. It's so great for helping plants that are transitioning or distressed. I use it regularly for rehab plant projects, and anytime that I'm moving something from water propagation or soil into LECA, I always add it. So I do a quarter of a teaspoon again with this. Now, sometimes I mix up my regimen and I add Clonex into the solution. This is really great for hydroponic vegetables and herbs, and I'm not going to add it to this because I'm doing this video for the purpose of indoor plants, but I did want to just throw it out there that that's in my little kit of nutrient water solution supplies. So we're just going to mix it all up, and then we are going to have nutrient water. And now we are going to move on to pH testing, which is a very important step. I'm going to walk you through the way I do it with my preferred method, though you can certainly use a pH meter as well. I like to use the general hydroponics pH up, pH down, and pH dye indicator system, but here I'm just showing you that you can also use a meter. I don't really like the meter. I guess I'm more old school. 
So this is where the shot glass comes in handy. It's not actually for tequila. So I'm just gonna fill a little bit up with this nutrient water and then take the indicator dye and add a few drops. And then once I've done that, I'll just kind of stir the shot glass or tap it to get the indication of the color. So here I am adding it. And once the drops mix, you can see that it starts to turn this kind of orangish color, which is a little bit off what we're wanting. So plants need a pH of between 5.5 and 6.5 in order to thrive. And it's a little difficult to see on camera. I was trying to show you with the lighting, but it is actually pretty orange, which is indicative of a pH that's closer to 5. And we really want it more to be 5.5 or 6, something like that. So we're going to add a little bit of pH up, and this is actually a great experiment because I really wanted to show how much a little goes a long way. So here I'm just going to add a few drops into the shot glass, and you can see just a couple of drops how immediately that color changed from this dark orange to this dark blue. So I only show you this kind of as a little side experiment to indicate that you have to be careful when you're using pH up and down, and pH down is corrosive, so you definitely don't want to use too much of it. These are chemicals at the end of the day and you don't want to flood your plants and your nutrient water with too much. Too much of a good thing can always be a bad thing. So I'm adding a little less than a quarter of a teaspoon of this pH up, just trying to increase the pH of it. And then we're going to give it a stir here and test it again. So when I tested it again, it was still a little bit too low for my liking, so I decided to add just a little bit more. And sometimes it is a game of just kind of workshopping it and seeing how close you can get to the actual pH that you're trying to find. Anything between 5.5 and 6.5 is acceptable, but I try to get it as close to 6 as I can. So I sped this up for the interest of time, but here I am adding some more of the indicator dye, and here I feel happy with where it ended up. It ended up being at about 6, which is perfect for me. So, we are going to go with that. Usually what I do then is I pour this water, this nutrient water I've prepared into a container that makes it easier for me to water my plants. And I wanted to explain that pH is really important because at a pH of lower than 5, the nutrients will be leached out. And a pH lower than 7 is considered acidic. It's okay for the plants to be mildly acidic, but a pH greater than 7 is considered basic. And you really want the pH to be at 5.5 to 6.5 because it will influence the availability of the essential nutrients. So you're setting your plants up for success if you do this step. And that is how you make your own nutrient water for semi-hydroponics using LECA. So in future videos, we're gonna go over all types of things about how nutrient water is best used, but for now, just keep your reservoir a third of the way full with the nutrient water and check out these videos that I also have uploaded on how to cut up your plants for propagation as well as how to pot your plant in LECA. I also wanted to share that my website lauraloon.com is now active and updated for the holiday season so if you feel so inclined I would love for you to check it out. All kinds of things are on the website. I have my propagation boxes which I have originally started selling on Facebook but now they're on the site as well as my YouTube videos are linked through there, my blog posts are on there, I created a few blogs about LECA and water propagation and I plan to start posting videos and blogs at least every Friday but hopefully more often. So if you would like to join the mailing list, that would be wonderful, I would love to have you on the website. And if you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a like, subscribe, leave comments below about what you're looking forward to learning about, questions you may have, or your own experiences, and until next time, much love everybody.